Welcome to this video. This is the Bookkeeping Master on YouTube. If you've just joined us, please go back and start from video one and watch to this point and then carry on. I'm going to show you in this video how to create new invoices for customers on QuickBooks Online. We've already gone through how to add new customers how to view their records, how to edit their records, and now we'll look at raising invoices for customers, so sales invoices. There's two ways we can do this. We can click Create Invoice next to the customer in the customer module, or you can click on the customer, go to their record. At the top right, there's New Transaction. If you click on New Transaction, you can click invoice. In this video, we'll do both routes. So let's go back to customer. Let's raise a invoice for Sage Books, a customer we created a couple of videos ago and create invoice. So this is an invoice that we're sending to our customer for a product that we've sold or a service that we've provided. You'll notice that at the top here, we have Sage Books, which is correct. That's who we want to invoice. We have the customer billing address, which we entered on the customer record when we created the record. We have the email address. We have Sarah Brooks. That was Lisa Brooks. We updated the contact there. We have the invoice date. That's today's date by default and the due date and the payment terms. The payment terms are set if you have set a default when you created the customer, like I showed you a couple of videos back, we set this at net 15. So it's at net 15. If we want to change the payment terms, just click the arrow, choose the different payment terms, due on receipt, net 15, net 30, net 60, or add new payment terms. And I'll come to that in a later video about ed adding new payment terms. If you want to change the invoice date, just use the calendar. You'll have a calendar appear and you can simply just click on the date you wish. You can actually raise invoices for a future date. Not all accounting software lets you do that, but it does with QuickBooks Online. And obviously you can raise invoices for previous dates. The due date is calculated automatically by the payment terms but you can also change the due date manually by clicking on the calendar once again. The calendar appears when you hover to the right of the box. Hopefully I'm not going too quickly for you. I will go through raising another invoice. So if I am rushing through this, then just keep the video and you'll be able to watch it again. Alternatively, just keep watching the video till you get it. So in line one, we are going to enter our sale. So this is what we're selling. So, so this is an invoice that's going to a customer. Now by default, there should be a sales code already on QuickBooks Online. And we'll go through in later videos adding new codes, but for now we're just selling something. So let's put it down as a sale. Move across, you can tab or use the mouse to click in the description. So we have a sale, the description, let's say, Bookkeeping services. For. July 2015. Quantity one. The rate say it was a set fee of 45 pounds. Tab across. We have 45 pounds. If that is the invoice done, then simply just click save or save and send, or there's an arrow here, save and new, that's save and create a new invoice or save and close. You may have more items to appear on the invoice. So let's add in another line. Once again, let's do another sale. And let's say we charged by the hour for this. And this, let's say it was um, some sort of major service like 
year-end prep. And you could put at 15 pounds per hour. In the quantity, say it took us five hours, click five, the rate was 15, tab across, it will calculate it for you, 75, and down the bottom here we have our balance due. There are a couple of options down here, like displaying a message on the invoice and a statement memo. We will come to those things later on in this course, how to put things in there by default. You may want to put your bank details in there, but obviously you don't want to enter that manually each time you raise an invoice. You just want it to appear automatically, and we'll come to that later on in this course. If you have lots of lines for your invoices, just make sure you click the Add Lines button, and more lines will appear. If you want to save the invoice and send it by email, say... Um, a personal email, click print or preview, click print or preview again. You'll then have this box appear, the print preview. It may take a little while to load. So here's our invoice. We have our year end prep at £75, the invoice address, it, the template is for a windowed envelope, we have our company details at the top here. If we saved a logo to QuickBooks as in video one, your logo will probably appear up here. And there are other templates you can use for QuickBooks and I'll show you those templates later on in this course. I'm just trying to keep things as basic as possible at the moment. Once we're happy, if we hover down the bottom here or at the top, you'll have a box like this appear. You can save the invoice and then email it as an attachment to someone or you can print it. Once we're happy with everything, we can click save. But if you click on this drop down box, you can click save and close. You'll then go back to the customer screen and you'll see there is an open balance of £120 on Sage Books. If we click on their account, you'll see the invoice appears the 31st of July 2015, £120 owed. So now we actually have something listed on their record. Let's raise another invoice. Let's do one for Clearview Training this time. This time we will just click the Create Invoice button instead of going through their account. You'll have the invoice screen appear. This screen is basically just a template of an invoice. Net 30, that's fine. Sale. I'll just put some gobbledygook in here to make sure the video doesn't last too long. Let's say it was £400. We can then print or preview the invoice, print or save, and then save and close. If you want to add VAT to invoices, that will be something covered later on in the course. Just stick with the videos. I would suggest that you just go through the throughout the whole course, um, and then you should learn everything that you need to learn. Click save and close. and it's saved on the account. If we click on the record, you'll see we have the invoice saved with the invoice number, the date, the due date, the balance, the total, and the status. That will say open, overdue, or paid. Thank you for watching. Use the links to watch the next video.